السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته Blessings to everyone So this month which is called Safa is one of the most particular months that we can experience during the year and when we say months we mean moon right and remember the moon is us, is our personality, and the sun represents the higher self. No. So in this month it is said that there come a lot of calamities to us, but actually it is also called the good one, the good suffer, the yellow suffer, which means yellow stands for light and it is the month that brings the hidden up. What has been in the dark, in the secret, in this month, it is very much likely that many things in us or around us are coming up. Yeah. They are appearing in ourselves, things that we try to hide, <clears throat> for a long time or we were not conscious about it over a long time and now it is the time to see it and to have a look at it and this is happening under this name Rahman the merciful one the compassionate one no? Rahman in Rahim because what would a good father do when the child is not understanding, yeah, he will try again and again and again to make it to understand. And this is what we experience in our life, that there are so many things that look for us locked and difficult and unsolvable. And then comes the moment where it becomes clear and you can solve the unsolvable. So this month, it is suggested, it is recommended that we say 300 times, that we ask 300 times forgiveness in the Arabic language, Astaghfirullah. And it is because of that, that things come up, things they are not good for us, they are not making us to shine, they are actually making us to see how low we are yeah, on these points. And that means we should ask for forgiveness. No? And in that month also it is recommended to stay a while alone, sitting alone, like 15 minutes, and asking ourselves, what is it that I cover <clears throat> that stands between me and happiness. What is it that is covering my happiness? No, Because we all understand happiness, but it is very rare that we are happy. No? So we should investigate and not giving up on this point to see what is covered, what is standing in between us and the happiness. Because in the tradition we say happiness is the healer. Happiness makes everything to repair. Yeah. And that is the way when we experience something in our childhood, in the early childhood especially, with our deep happiness that is innate in every child when it is small, it can repair everything that happens yeah immediately almost there might be a little crying there might be a little this little that but at the end of the day it's a very short time and the child starts to look for happiness and shows its happiness again yeah so what is it that covers us and we don't need to think now, we don't need to, to look for it mentally, 
because very often we cannot grab it mentally. But when we sit down and we give ourselves the permission that it might appear to us, to our conscious, then it can happen. Yeah. And that is mentioned with the name Tefakur in our tradition. That means it is not like a concrete thinking. Yeah. It is more that you give yourself the intention and the permission to be ready to see a certain thing that might have happened in the past or something that you cannot see, but you want to see it and you want to go through it. So that month is a very valuable month. And some people think it is the month of catastrophes and because it also comes with outward difficulties, right? And it is said, this is a month where we shouldn't travel too much. If we can avoid it, we should not do it in that month. Or if we have an operation, we should delay it if it can be possible. So the month goes deep. And one beautiful thing it brings with it, it has a very special, beautiful moon that you can see in the night sky. Most probably, if you live in Europe, it is after sunset, not long time after sunset, you will see the moon. And it's still a Hilal moon, which means it has not half a shape or a full shape. It is still growing you now. And it is particularly beautiful in these days. So have a look and see how you feel inspired by this moon. Because this is what we have given this knowledge. And the one who uses it, he will benefit from it. And um, because all the moons that come with a theme, that doesn't mean it's just a theme, but there is always a help as well coming with it. There is a support that makes it easier. That moon is made, that it makes it easier to see what is hidden, right? So thank you very much. May Allah bless you in all your works and protects us and forgives us. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.